In this video, we are going to look at what's new in Camtasia 2025. Welcome to this video. My name is David and I hope you're well wherever you are around the world. Now, this release came as a surprise to me as uh, the other versions of Camtasia 2024 was released sometime on June 4th. I should, I believe, should be somewhere here. Yes, June 4th, 2024. And yes, uh, I do believe the reason for uh, the new uh, this new release is because of the changes they made uh, based on the pricings and all that. Uh, I do believe that is the reasoning behind that. But well, Camtasia 2025 is here and here are the new features. We've got some audio effects, the AI noise removal uh, feature. And this is a highly welcome feature and it allows you to isolate your voice with precision removing unwanted sounds while keeping your voice crisp and clear. So this is a highly welcome uh, addition, especially if you've recorded your video in a noisy background and so on and so forth. You can use this. And then we've got uh, Casa Effects. And I do believe the folks at uh, TechSmith really love Casa Effects. And we've got Casa Motion Blur. And it provides a blur effect to Casa Movement to create a more visually engaging appearance. We've got also Kinetic Cursor. It adds momentum to the cursor movement to appear as if it's being pulled and pushed across the screen. And then we've got the option to elevate cursor. And uh, this one is more or less brings your cursor to the front of the screen over on-screen effects, media, and annotations. And then we've got feature updates, dynamic captions, and uh, probably some of the few things that uh, were missing in the dynamic captions feature is uh, expanded editing for dynamic captions, including addition and removal of words and spaces, because obviously AI might end up missing some of the few uh, features uh, and more or more or less the ones that are being said, and you might need to add them manually. Uh, and uh, it's good that in a, an update in Camtasia 2024, they allowed for positioning uh, more or less on uh, where the word is actually said. And obviously some bug fixes, fix the crash when opening some projects with CASA edits, fix the crash when editing some media with CASA data. So I wouldn't call this a major release whatsoever, but I'm hoping that uh, new features will be added in Camtasia 2025. So this would be more or less, if I may say it, uh, a minor release for Camtasia 2024. But it is what it is. That's Camtasia 2025. And I've already downloaded a trial copy uh, to test it out uh, and see some of those things. So uh, let's say I just drag this on the timeline. And uh, we can use the first feature. And this is the audio uh, noise removal, AI noise removal. It's here, audio effects right here. AI noise removal. You can just drag it and drop it right there. And it looks good. You see the amount by default is about 80% intensity. Uh, so you can see and listen to how your audio sounds after doing that. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use. That's here. Describes eye contact feature to simulate. To simulate eye contact. Well, there's, there's no noise whatsoever in this, but you see the drill. That is how it works. When there's noise, it takes care of the noise. So that's the AI noise removal feature. Uh, the next feature I believe should be, we should look at is uh, the dynamic captions. And with this, we just go to captions right here, this particular one. And I can just drag and drop this right here. And you'll see it circling right here. It's transcribing. And you can see it's been appended. Uh, the captions have been added right there. So I can just bring this back up to somewhere there. And then just zoom to fit. I can actually adjust the zoom. So you can see we've got our subtitles here right there as the dynamic captions. And let's assume uh, we have a word that is missing here. So. When you look at this, if you hover over this, when you zoom in, you'll see a plus. And if I click on it, it's going to add more or less of like a caption box here. It's right here and you can type whatever. Hi, this is David. But obviously uh, it kind of does that for just a single word, obviously because it's timed. And if I do that, 
Yes, you'll see the whole thing, but obviously it's going to just pass really, really quick. Tutorial, I'll show you. So you can now add right there, right click or delete. Now, something else that you can do, for example, uh, let's say right about here, you want to kind of cut this off around in this tutorial. You can just click on this and then just right click, convert to gap. So, for example, what it has done now, it's broken up uh, in this tutorial. I'll show you into like two. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to use. So you can actually go keep doing that, inserting or converting at this and then convert to gap and it kind of breaks it down for you just like that. I'll show you how to use this script. So it's super, super simple uh, to kind of do that. Super awesome. And obviously in 2024, they uh, brought about the option to kind of set where the word appears, which is really, really awesome uh, right here. And obviously you can save uh, your dynamic captions and so on and so forth. So uh, uh, that's uh, AI noise removal and dynamic captions. You can add words, create gaps or whatever. Uh, and then we've got, let's go to a screen recording here. I've got a screen recording right here. And I'm just going to kind of just get maybe a, a mask. Just drag and drop it on this. And that's okay. Control Z. Let's just select this one. A mask right there. And that's okay. And you can see we've got a casa right here so this is a casa and you can see it right here now as uh, we've checked out there is the elevate casa option here uh, and i can actually begin with the casa motion blur so for example uh, i can come to the casa effects and let's say we give our casa a color uh, that's a good one and we can see it here and then we've got now the motion blur i'll just bring it here and when if i play this and the cursor is moving. Let's actually see where the cursor is moving. It should be moving. So yeah, you can see the animations have been set out here. So as it moves, you can see some sort of like a blur of sorts, some motion blur. Yeah, you can see it right here in the cursor. So that is one. Uh, and I can actually kind of just uh, turn it off a little bit and then bring in and as, as you've seen you can see when the motion blur is on you'll see the blur happening uh, let's go to the other one which is the kinetic cursor should be here and you can see it's it kind of glides let's see how it looks like uh, this is going to be a good position to, to want, actually see that or you can just let's just scroll Yeah, you can see it's kind of gliding. Uh, it's kind of, yeah, it's kind of gliding. It's it's gliding the way it should in that particular. Uh, and you can see a couple of things. You can change the intensity, the tilt, the ease in, the ease out, and so on and so forth. So uh, that's really good. And then the final one is more or less the elevate cursor. And what this kind of means is. Uh, the default position right now is uh, right here on the media uh, and let's say i add an annotation whatsoever let's say we go with maybe a shape or something uh, just bring it here uh, but i'll need to move this up a little bit so that we kind of have this separation so let's say i make this a little bit bigger what has happened is that i've blocked the casa behind there so with casa elevation let me click on my screen recording. Just click on this and you can say above media effects or always on top. If I select that, uh, whether you've got uh, text or images or whatever is here, then this is actually going to be always on top. So you can see it's on top right there. So uh, mostly with text, uh, Maybe a text call out, uh, you may need to have that. Obviously not like a rectangle, like what I've done. Uh, but basically those are the new features in Camtasia 2025. The AI noise removal effect, 
uh, the CASA effects where we've got the motion blur for the CASA, the kinetic CASA, and also CASA elevation. And then we've got some dynamic captions and uh, the other features are, for example, when you want to record uh, a tutorial, uh, the last feature that they've added is you can now kind of pop out your preview window uh, before the recording. It's not going to be recorded, but you can see it and frame yourself uh, the way you want uh, in a bigger, bigger aspect ratio so that you can see yourself and kind of see, yes, a mind frame and all that. So that is what is new in Camtasia 2025. I hope this video is of value to you. Thanks for watching.